guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel that changed from american to irish very very fast first that's not irish fast that would be irish okay yeah i've really hurt myself i just trolled on a plug and ow that's why i've got no trousers on i like took all my trousers and my socks to see what i'd done i fully got the imprint of three prongs of a plug in the arch of my foot and the skin has been broken so that was not a casual step on a plug that was like Ow. But I am here to film a video. Heroic, I know. Today I am filming something that is was actually really easy for me and fun because I always wear over the knee boots. But today I'm filming a styling over the knee boots and I did six outfits, three day, three night. I actually find it really hard to find a pair of over the knee boots that actually go over my knee. But I have a pair which are the pair that I used throughout this pair. This is from Vagabond. And I bought them on Zalando like ages ago. And I remember when I first got them, so many of you asked me where I got them from and also on my Instagram. I feel like this could be a little bit higher. Anyway, yeah, they were from Vagabond and I bought them on Zalando and loads of people bought them and I was really scared they were gonna sell out. So I bought two pairs. One I keep in London, one I keep here. So this is my like country pair. Which is why they're a little bit dirtier than my other ones. I don't know why I keep doing an Irish accent. Can't really find them online again. I'm gonna link a couple of uh, other pairs that I think are also really good. Without much further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with daytime. Daytime was really easy for me because in the day I wear over the knee boots all the time. Basically, what I would say I do is I just pair over the knee boots with everything and then I'm like, that works. My like most favorite, most worn, most overworn ensemble is this one and this is pretty much a Zara mannequin. Uh, a turtleneck from Zara, as I just said. Love this, it's got some little gold detailing there. They sell these pretty much every single year with different kind of buttons, different kind of vibes. Really nice and stretchy, really tight, long sleeves. Love, pair it with this little skirt, which again, from Zara. Um, I, this is all fairly old. So I'll try and leave similar things either from Zara or from other shops in the description box down below where I can. But I really love this. I think it's really feminine and girly. And I just think it's kind of flattering for the figure. This is nice and tight on your top half. This flows out and you just feel really comfortable. You feel like, you know, you you can see your silhouette, your figure with the with a tight turtleneck. You're covered on the bottom half and then you've got most of your legs covered with the boots. Popped it with my Prada bag and it's like a Zara tweed coat, which I think is very kind of Chanel vibes. Got nice little buttons on it. I just think it's a very preppy, very sophisticated look. And it's one that you could wear for a more formal occasion. I wear this like most days. I would wear this to the kind of interviews and meetings that I have are a little bit more casual, but I would wear that as like a worky look daytime look number two is one that i have worn like i think it was two years ago now and i remembered it and i was like oh i liked that look really liked it and it was actually this pair of shorts which were from french connection honestly when i was about 14 so this i definitely can't link I remember being like oh my god i'm so grown up shopping at french connection i love these i think these are like the ultimate paper bag shorts like denim shorts you could wear any kind of high-waisted denim shorts or any other kind of shorts i just love the denim with this Wore that with this really nice um kind of frilled blouse which i got from h&m again a while ago but i'll try and leave something similar uh in fact i think you can actually get something better to go with this kind of look because the waistband is quite high on this so you have to kind of keep tucking it in and i just think the over knee boots work really well as well with a bit of dark in there when the rest of it's like white and denim and stuff uh i also popped on this top shop i think you call these like bowler hats i love this i don't know why i don't wear this more often then i popped on the top like a little coat this is actually a jacket from naked actually the perfect outfit to go underneath because you have actually got shorts on so you don't feel too exposed whoa oh my god i thought there was a dog <laughs> I feel like I really jumped there. And the final daytime look is kind of a day to night ensemble. Starting with these like, I don't know what, oh my God, have they got a rib? Oh my God, they've got a rib in the groin. These are from Mango. Oh, I've been looking for these again so much because I want to buy them again. And I also want to tell everyone to buy these, but they're like, I guess shiny look, wet look, red leggings. They're so comfy, but I can't find them again, but I'll find something similar. I think it's a little bit of an edgier thing to wear in the daytime. It's a way of wearing these without going over the top, wearing these with over knee boots. You've covered up some of you with them. Because if you feel like this kind of thing kind of shows off your whole leg, your whole body, you know? So if you wear over the knee boots, you're just giving it a little sample of what's on offer. 
I paired that with a top, which I think is from Boohoo. Cold shoulder, frilly, again, very feminine, and just adds a bit of a feminine touch to an otherwise kind of sexy, kind of tougher bottom half. Moving on to evening looks, I just wanted to show that you can pair over boots with pretty much anything, and they can sort of fit with the vibe that you want. You can go with like, tried really hard, looking really good, you know, made an effort, or you can go with like, oh my God, sorry, I didn't realize I look nice, and just rocked up wearing this. First look was actually this, which is a really nice like halter neck top from Dorothy Perkins, which they gifted me when I went to their like gifting day. I actually really like this. It's really, really comfortable. I love this kind of neckline, really flattering, especially if you're of the less breasty type, you don't need a bra on. And it's just, I just think this is flattering for my kind of figure. It's also really long. So if you feel like you want something that covers your bum, you can untuck it and it will cover your bum. I tucked it into my jeans. I just liked kind of like a more fluffy sort of thing going on at the top. My jeans are from River Island. They're nice and stretchy, black, tight, skinny jeans. Head with over knee boots, it's just a more comfortable and also flattering look because all of the black kind of melts into one and it just makes your legs look longer rather than breaking it up with like ankle boots or trainers. Yeah, you can look like you haven't tried very hard, but really you have. Or well, you haven't, but you look good. Next up, I've actually worn this before when I went to see The Weeknd in concert. I wanted to look nice, but I was like, I also want to be comfortable because I'm at a concert. So I wore this dress, which is from Misguided. Amazing quality. Again, it's a while ago, so I will leave something similar. I think they do this kind of thing all the time. It's really tight, like bodycon with some frills going on. I have worn this with like heels, like glittery heels before, and then it's like, pow, there you are, statement. Like, going out, you've arrived to the party look when you pop it on with some over knee boots it's like you wouldn't look stupid if you went to dinner at pizza express beforehand which is exactly what i did so i'm all about like i want to look nice but i don't want people to be like jesus she really dressed up for the occasion of pizza express <laughs> then the final dress is one that i wear a lot it is a dress that i love it's from zara it's a faux leather little bandeau mini dress it is short so it's one that i always wear over knee boots with really because otherwise it's like whew, I got a lot of legs. So the last time I wore this, I went to an event at restaurant hours. Ours, I can't ever say that to one. In London, it's kind of a fancy restaurant, but I didn't know the vibe of what everyone else was gonna wear. Popped over knee boots on with it because one, comfortable. Two, didn't look like I tried too hard. Three, I'm not gonna be the tallest person in the whole world with all of their leg out. So yeah, really love this. Paired it with a nice white chunky jacket. This is actually my mum's one from Naked, but I have a Shein one, which is exactly the same, which I also would have worn with this. I just left it in the car, so I took my mum's. <laughs> it's the end of my styling over the boots video. Main tips for styling over the boots are get your kind of height of dress right. If you're worried that things are short, you don't have to go really short, but I feel like you need a good length between the over knee boots and the skirt, or you need to like fully go to the calf or the shin with that dress or skirt. So lengths of skirts are really important. Also tightness of things. I feel that it is better if you're going for trousers to go for something tight or go for leggings. And if you feel like you've got too much on display, go for a longer top. I hope you guys like this video. I'm really sorry that everything is fairly old, but these are like my classic outfits that I wear with open knee boots. I will try and leave similar things down below or where I can find the same things, I will leave the same thing. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you 